for Palestinians that there's been a century of, of broken promises, of treaties violated, of international law broken, um, and of a people dispersed, uh, dismembered, uh, and dispossessed of their land and of their rights. Uh, they are living under the most horrific circumstances. The Palestinians have been put in an open-air prison in Gaza and in the West Bank behind checkpoints where they simply cannot even conduct daily commerce. They're humiliated by, uh, by soldiers um, almost on a daily basis. So the reality here is that the U.S. simply has not the ability, I think political ability or will, to treat Palestinians as equal human beings. And as long as they can't see them as equal human beings, and behave as cruelly insensitive as Jared Kushner and, and uh, Jason Greenblatt did today, then what you're going to get is a situation where Palestinians simply have no hope. When you talk about provocation, the provocation of living behind a blockade in Gaza where Israel measured the amount of caloric intake needed to simply sur survive and allowed that am amount of foodstuffs in. In Jerusalem, where people live under the most oppressive circumstances, and now as a result of this Trump decision on the embassy, Israel has been emboldened to confiscate more homes in East Jerusalem, to declare uh, areas of, of, of Jerusalem that will be outside of their jurisdiction. They're going to remove over 100,000 Palestinians, even from Jerusalem residency. And people live under constant fear of Israeli troops and settlers violating their, their basic rights. That's the daily provocation. We have to deal with that, but America has never been willing to deal with it because basically they don't see Palestinians as equal people to Israeli Jews. They just don't. When I saw the picture is mm -hmm. the juxtaposition of these smiling white folks mm. in the in the stands and people dying on the border because young kids simply have no hope. Unemployment, youth unemployment is in the 70% range and has been for three decades now. That means a young person in Gaza has no job, no prospect of a job, no opportunity to live a decent life. When I see those two contrasted, I see the British Viceroy in India. I see people being denied basic rights by a colonial regime that simply refuses to accept them as equal people. So